Hi everyone, and welcome to tutorial number one of the Make a Hangman game in Python series. So, first thing you'll need to do is either either download a Python editor, um, either open up a Python editor on your browser, or either download a Python engine on your system and open it up. So once you've opened it up and created a new project, we're ready to start. So the first thing that we want to do um, that I'm going to show you <clears throat> is how the program that I'm going to teach you works. So how this program works. So um, I'm just going to quickly run it and give you a quick look on how it works. <clears throat> so as you can see, it has the starting out gallows um, right here. And it says you have six attempts remaining. Um, and then here, right underneath where it tells the number of attempts you have remaining is the word re replaced and all the re letters of the word are replaced by dashes as you can see um so it asks you to select a letter between a to z if you don't select a letter let's say if you select one then it says a response that is not a letter please try again or if you type more than one letter let's say a b it says that is more than one letter please try again and every time you guess something correct, let's try E. Um, e is not in the word, so um, the face is drawn. So let's try some, uh, a, a few more. A is not in the word. I is not in the word. O is in the word. So every time you get a correct guess, um, it replaces your guess with the correct dash. So now that uh, I've give you, given you a quick look on how the program works, um, we're ready to start so I'm just gonna create a uh, create a new program here and we're ready to start so the first thing that we want to do is type in import random so I'm just gonna make my screen a bit bigger so the first thing that you want to type in is import random um, if you watch my earlier video you know that import random is very useful when you want to guess but if when you want the computer to take a random element from a list or something like that. So import random is very useful when you want to select something um, random. Um, and we are selecting something random. We're going to use the import random statement later on this in this program when we select a random word from the list of words that we give. So the first line, import random. So the next thing that we want to do is set up a play again loop because the way i programmed programmed it at the end um at the end of the program whether you lose or whether you win it asks you a question do you want to play again you type in yes or no if you type in no then the program ends it breaks if you type in yes then it restarts the program so the first the next thing that we're going to do is um set that loop up so we're going to create a variable boolean variable called play again is equal to true then we're going to create a while while play again and then here we program the rest of the code so what this does is play again is equal to true so while play again is equal to true play the game so let's go to the next part of um, programming our hangman. So after you've got the import random and the play again loop, you want to give um, the, as I mentioned earlier in this video, you want to give the computer a random list of words that you want the computer to guess from, to pick from. So we're just going to name our list, um, we're just going to name our, our list words list, um, and we're going to set it to a bunch of random words. Um, so I'm just going to set it to random words, say ninjas, um, python, uh, uh, jazz, university, uh, university, yep, that's how you spell it, programming, Oops, no, co no comma, and so, yeah, you can just add um, more and more random words. You don't have to use the random words that I use. You can use your own, but uh, I'm just going to add a few more before we end this list. Um, let's see, let's add, um, 
Whoops, we need the quotes. Mattress. Um, and one last one. Let's do Tinder. Okay, so we have our random words list. So the next thing that we're going to do is set up a few more lists. Um, and as we go, as we set up these lists, I'm going to explain to you what these lists are for, what these lists mean. So the first list that we're going to make is called guess. This guess, this variable is based on the user's guess. Later in this code, we're going to be creating a new input in which we ask the user for their guess and the name of the input is guess. So that's how it relates. Um, the next thing that we want to create, the next um, list that we want to create is guest letters. Um, so what guest letters is, is whenever the user um, takes a guess, the, their guess is added to this list. Um, this list is helpful to check if um, the player is guessing twice or if they're not guessing a word. So that is if they're not guessing a letter. If they're guessing something else that's not a letter, let's say a number or more than one letter. So that is why this list is useful. Um, I'm just going to quickly give some comments so we know what the lists and variables are for. So this variable is for um, player guess input. And this variable, guest letters, is for we add all of the user's guesses to this list. So, so now we've commented our list, so we can go on and create more lists. Um, so the next list that we want to create is blank word. So blank word. So I'm just going to comment here. Blank word is for placing all of the letters of the chosen word with dashes. So this list, in this list, this list is used for, um, we're going to create a new list. And in this list, we replace all of the letters of the chosen word of the word that the computer chooses from this list, we replace all of them with dashes. So if we don't do this, then the user will automatically see what the word is. <clears throat> so the next thing that we need to do is program the computer to guess the word. We didn't program that yet. So how that happens is we give it a variable. We give the chosen word a variable, and we're just going to name this chosen word <clears throat> is equal to and pay close attention to this. This is how you randomly select an element of a list. Random dot choice. And in these brackets, in these parentheses, you have the name of the list. And on the name of our list is words list. Words list. And um, of course, we have to type this line of code after the list or else um, the computer will be confused. It won't know which list you're talking about because up to that point, this list hasn't been defined. So we have to program <clears throat> this line of code after the list. <clears throat> so, and at the end of this random.choice words list, you add a dot lower. So this line of code programs the computer to randomly select a word from the list that we gave, words list. <clears throat> so now that we've initialized all our lists, we can get to the part where we replace all of the letters from the chosen word with blanks or with dashes. So we're going to use the for loop. Um, the for loop is also one, the, one of the topics of my recent videos. Um, how to do a for loop on Python. So we're going to use the for loop for every letter in chosen word blank word 
dot append and um, append is a, a, job, a Python function um, that is used in lists that is used when you're dealing with lists what what dot append does is it uh, it appends it adds on to the list whatever you add in parentheses so in this for loop we all this for loop does is replaces all of the letters of chosen word with dashes and it takes the dashed word so if we replaced the word jazz um, with dashes there will there will be four dashes and it sets the list blank word to those four dashes um, so how this for loop works so for every letter in chosen word so it iterates over each of the letters in the chosen word it goes over them one by one so for each letter in chosen word let's use jazz as our example again so this for loop goes over j the letter j and for every letter in chosen word you add a dash to this list so they see that j is a letter so it adds uh, a dash to the list of blank word then they go to a and then they add another dash because a is also a letter then z z is a letter it adds a third dash and the second z of this word and it adds a fourth dash and there are no more letters um of this string so it stops and what you have left and the output that you receive is blank word and you have the whole chosen word replaced with dashes so that is how you re replace with dashes and that is the end of part one of how to make a hangman game in python if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will be back with part two of how to make a hangman game in Python very soon.